Hi, I'm Debbie, and at first I want to say thank you so much for coming to the nail bar today. Um, I'm, I'm so excited to get a night out, and I know I've met many of you, and I haven't met all of you, and hopefully throughout the night I'll be able to meet each and every one of you. So thank you so much for coming, and I really want to thank you, Evelyn. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I have teenagers, and I'm crazy busy in the evening, and um, I love to be able to put a night like this on my calendar because I love a ladies' night out. So thank you for giving myself and all these ladies this wonderful night out. We're going to have a great time tonight, and... Um, there's nothing better than being with women, having some drinks, having some food, and pampering ourselves with nails. So thank you for that. Okay, um, how many of you guys have heard of Color Street? Any of you guys heard of Color Street? Oh good, you guys have? So I'm assuming you like it, because you're coming back for more. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, I love that. I love when people come, I've tried it, and they come to the next nail bar, because clearly that means you guys want to order more, which is exciting. Um, so I just want to go around the room real quick and just say your name real quick and just tell me what you do with your nails right now. Do you get them done? Do you wear them naked? Do you do shellac? Do you do gels? So let's start over here with you. Um, it's Sarah, right? Yep. Okay, yep. Sarah, go ahead. Um, I just used Color Street for the first time. Previously, I get my nails shellac. Okay, all right, so you just started using it before. Yep. So are you putting the Color Street over shellac? Um, no. Okay, so you went, you grew your nails out, and all right, great. What do you think? It's nice. I like the ease. Okay. Yeah. All right. Are you used to the feel of Color Street to Schlack? Yeah, I like it. Okay, good. Love it. All right, and then we have Haley. Okay, Haley. Um, I would normally paint my nails or go get Schlack or gel. Okay. And do you do, do you fill them in all the time, or do you let them grow and then go kind of go back? Are you consistent with it when you do them? Um, I actually used to bite my nails a lot. So okay. I don't do that anymore. Okay. I actually don't do that a lot. Okay, good. All right. And Donna? Um, mine are naked. I work parts, so. Okay, it's okay to be naked. <laughs> <laughs> naked nails can be nice, too. All right. And Evelyn, tell us about. Evelyn and I met because we went, she was in a nail bar that I went to. And she loved it so much, she wanted to bring it to all of you. Yeah, so. I fell in love with it right away. It's perfect for a busy mom like myself that has zero time to go to the spa and I love the fact that you can put it on and go. I have no time in my day, very limited for myself and this is the perfect way. Plus I can change it up to match any outfit, any occasion. I love it. Right and so prior to the nail bar you went to what were you doing with your nails? I was painting them myself and they kind of looked goofy. Okay. <laughs> okay. When you're busy it's hard to have the patience yeah, to let it dry. Driving and blowing yeah. dry, you know. <laughs> yeah. nails trying to dry, you're Yep. You're going bang it and smearing it and yeah, this is a perfect lifesaver. Good. All right. Perfect. And your name? Hello. Okay. Jackie. Jackie. <laughs> Tell me. I went to a vendor show and I fell in love with my nails and I don't know who to get them from. So when I got this invitation, I couldn't wait to come. Great. Okay. Your name? I'm sorry. Mary. Mary. I didn't see your name tag Yeah, here. I don't do my nails. I, my, I hate my hands. They're just terrible at I don't polish my nails. Really, that's so interesting because your hair is so pretty and up and I love your dress. So we're going to have you looking at our stuff. You may like it. You may feel we'll all dialed up. We'll see. All right. Libby. Um, I mean, what's your name? <laughs> Tell me your name, Libby. My name is Libby and, uh, <laughs> I, and I, I have usually naked nails. Um, I'm not naked today, but <laughs> so you have them paint, just regular polish? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And your name? Jeanette. Jeanette? Yeah. I used to paint them, and I'd always do it right before bed and smear them. And then I found Color Street, and I really love them. So, like I see you have Color Street, Street on yeah. today too. My nails have never been <gasps> oh I love my gosh, it. Ice Castle! Yeah, it reminds favorite. me so much of um, Elsa. Yes, yeah, me such a beautiful yeah. one. Oh, that's pretty. I'm Chris, and I normally have naked nails, but since I found Color Street, that's all I do because my nails are a hot mess if I try to do it myself. Okay, it's so bad. what have you found that you like about Color Street? Oh gosh, they they can last you about two weeks. Um, they don't chip, and I'm pretty rough on them. I play guitar, so, and they don't chip from the strings or anything. So nice. I, I love them. I do nothing but those. Oh, that, 
I just love, I love having these ambassadors at my parties so then they can be telling you guys. And so it's not just coming from me, it's coming from people that all have been using it, which is exciting. So thank you to all of you who have been using it and supporting our business. You know, we've only been open since June. So we haven't even been open that long. We're already getting out there to so many women and really truly changing their habits um, with what they do with their nails, which is great. So I'll tell you guys a little bit about Color Street. Um, Color Street was founded, or we opened last June. So like I said, we haven't even been open a year and we are just growing like crazy. Um, we are selling so many nails because we're really making a difference for women. Um, we're helping women who maybe couldn't get to the salon before, um, um, people who didn't have time to do it, or maybe people who didn't want to spend the money on it. Um, we are able to, some people who are using shellac and gel like some of you do, some of those women even like to use it and they put it over their nails because when they get those done they maybe can't use a pattern and now Color Street allows them to use a pattern. So we are 100% nail polish strips. Uh, we don't need heat, uh, we don't need any type of tools. We go on, I'm going to say in minutes because I've been doing it since June so I can get a manicure done in minutes. Now that's, you know, as you use it the first time, it may take you a little longer, but with each time you get quicker and quicker. But it definitely is not the time it would take you to go to the nail salon. Um, so we go on pretty quick, and then how long will it last? You know, that's gonna depend on the oils in your nails. Everybody has a different makeup in their nails. Some people, it could last, I have customers that will send me photos and they are letting those nails grow for three weeks to prove that they're still on there. And they may be up to the tip, but they're still letting them go. I personally change mine every week. I'm a nail picker. And I find as soon as I get growth, I will pick and then I damage my nail once I pick. If I remove it like I'm supposed to with nail polish remover, I don't damage my nail. But when I pick, I do. So I have to change mine more often. Um, but you know, your average is gonna be probably 10 days-ish or so. And so, and it also depends how hard you are on your nails. If you're doing a lot of stuff on your nails all the time, maybe it's not gonna last, it might wear at the tips a little longer. And how picky you are. I don't necessarily, on some of the colors, if it's wearing at the tips, I may not be able to see that. But on some colors, I do notice it, so I may change it quicker than others. So they all wear a little bit differently. Um, so the way um, Color Street is sold is we come in a pack and up you get two nail prep pads and a nail file and in it is a package like this so you get two strips in here of eight small to large um, the the part down here on the tab is wider than the part up here on the tip so what color street offers really is 16 sizes of nails and that way you know because people will often ask me why in the world are there eight why aren't there five well we not we can't pigeonhole five um, sets styles and sizes of nails so we give you a few more options to choose from some of these if you look closely are more rounded some are more square so we're really hoping to fit every woman's um, nail and so let's say this one this side right here fits your thumb then you'd use the second strip and that side would fit your other thumb hopefully so you would definitely get a full manicure out of here now I have very small toenails so for me personally I can use this on my big toe this on my little toes, I cut it up, and because there's not really toenails there, I almost try to create them. <laughs> and then these are my finger, my thumb and fingers in between. So th this is my pinky, this is my um, thumb, and then these are my um, middle fingers. So that's me. Some people have wider or smaller nail beds. I've come across a few women that are able to use the teeny ones. If you're putting them on your daughter, you may be using the smaller ones as opposed to the bigger ones. You might even be able to get a manicure for you and your daughter out of one set, depending how, you know, once you get good at putting the nails on and you're able to save, um, if you can use one end to the other. And I'll show you that as we put it on. So all we require is clean hands. You would wash your hands, make sure you get any lotions and oils off. And then we have a nail prep pad that you'd wipe that off with a little um, nail prep pad to make sure they're clean and free of it. Now let's see, who said they hadn't used Color Street before? Can I put a sample on you? Absolutely. Okay, great. So, I'm gonna have you wipe your, let me pull this up, let's see. All right, I'm gonna go for your ring finger. So why don't you wipe that one off? These are what we call twosies. These are not for sale and they're so cute. They're great accent nails, but they're great for you guys to practice on. So. 
at the end, um, when we're done um, talking and sharing up here, everyone's going to get a Tuesday to be able to put one on yourself. Okay, so I opened the package. Once you open our packages, this is 100% nail polish. It will dry up. So if I set this down and then I change my mind and I come back five hours later, this probably will not be a good nail strip to use anymore. So just know that when you open it, you need to be prepared to use it at the time. Um, I'm not going to... You know, if I open it and I don't use all of them, I, you know, I've had some people try to save them and they put them back in the packaging. I don't necessarily, you could try it. I don't necessarily promote it in that you may open it and it, it could be dried up. Um, but, you know, if you want to try it, you can. Just know it, it's probably not going to be the same nail that it was when you first opened it. Okay, so when you first open, you see there's a little peach tab. I'm going to pull that off. That's the cover. And that pulls the cover off. Smell that. What do you smell? Nail polish. Yeah, it's 100% nail polish. Now I'm going to take it and I'm going to pull the tab right off the paper. And I come right above the cuticle. If you go on the cuticle, then, then it tends to pull up. So try to push the cuticle, make sure your cuticles are pushed back and go just above that cuticle. I smooth it really well. You ladies all see up here. And then I come around to the corners. I go to one corner and I push in. I go to the other corner, glasses, and push in, and then through the middle. You have really nice nails. That was a really, you have a good length on it. Okay. That is all you have to do. Isn't that amazing? Amazing. Yeah. And one of my favorite parts of this job is the reaction I get when I put a nail on someone for the first time and they're like, is that it? Yeah, that's it. That's what our job is. It's getting that reaction out of people showing them how easy it can be. See, now what I was saying earlier, if you have a, a, let's say a daughter with smaller fingers, I might be able to use that side on her. Probably not on yours because your nails are a little bit longer. So I probably couldn't use the back side on you. Then when you're finished, you can just kind of rub that and swab back, back over. Um, some tips um, when you're putting the nail strips on. I like to start with the pinky and go to the thumb because I'm using my thumb. So if you put your thumb on first, by the time you get to the end, you've pushed all that polish back. Um, although, although it's not like nail polish, it is going to take about 30 minutes to, to, for it to fully adhere to your nail. And so after I put my nails on, I'm not going to go out and garden. I'm not going to be pushing at my fingertips. That's really the most delicate part for just a little bit. So you can still do regular things. I'm not telling you have to be as cautious as you do with wet nail polish, but just um, kind of protect those ends for a little bit. Don't wash your hands or put on lotion either for about 30 minutes. You want it to set on there really well. Um, another thing is, so if I, I take this next nail and I can see it's gonna be too skinny. You don't want it to be too skinny. You don't want it to look like a sticker or something stuck on their nail. So you're always better off if I go to the next nail that's too wide, I'm always gonna go wider than skinnier because it's not gonna adhere to the skin and I can always pull it off the skin, all right? So let's clean that pinky off. Oh, you're gonna just be dialed up. Do you have any plans for tonight? Oh, maybe dinner. You need to get a date now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That'd be nice. Right? When you go to, you're gonna find when you put these on and you go to pay at places, you, you kind of put your hand out a little differently when you pay for things because you wanna flaunt your nails. Okay. Again, this back side is a little wide, but the other side's a little skinny. So I'm gonna do a little bit wider. And then I come up again behind the corners. I push back. It is a little bit over on her skin. I've been doing this a while. I am pretty cautious that I could pick it off right now. When you first start, I'd probably advise waiting that 30 minutes and then go back and pick it off your skin. Because if you pick too far into the nail, you're gonna pull that polish off your nail too. So. The first few times you apply your color street, just wait till it dries to go pull it off the skin. But again, eventually you'll just know where to go and you'll just pull it off. Okay. Beautiful. What do you think? I love it. Good. Wipe that up. All right. Any questions on the application process right now? Why do you wipe it the second time with the, or the over the top? That is a great question. I just do it because I was told to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and I know in the salons they often will rewipe when they go do things too. I'm thinking maybe it just does something. I've done it with and I've done it without to try to test to see if there's a difference. So I don't know if there really is, so I just do it because I think there could be a difference. <laughs> Can't hurt to do it, right? Right. That's the way I look at it. So 
All right, um, I'll show you guys the catalogs in just a little bit. We'll get to that. But uh, first thing I want to do is bring Evelyn up. So just for having the party tonight, she is going to get a free set of nails. Um, she decided she wanted to have her nails done for tonight. Sometimes I put them on in front of you guys, but she wanted you guys to see her nails when you came. So I'm going to give her the set she picked out, and that's, that's from me for having the party. So thank you for having the party. That's the set you picked out. Now, she sent me a wish list before this, and was, um, I said, write down all the nails you would love to get. And so look at this. So from just our average $500 party, she could be getting... I think this is the one you said you have a coral top that you really are excited to wear with. Oh, yes. Yeah. And that, oh, love that one. one. I know. I, so you, <laughs> you obviously like it that you want it again. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> is that your favorite? Okay. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> these, such a hard thing to I know. These are all out of our new spring line, and I, I can't get enough for me to Right, they're beautiful, aren't they? So this, this is another new glitter that we got. Oh, and there's more. She's still getting more. Oh my gosh, I'm blue looking. And I think you said you're going on spring break and you really wanted this one before spring break. So you could blend in with all the tropical trees yes. and whatnot. Yes. Yeah. And I thought you said Easter. Yeah. Oh, me and my daughter are gonna have Oh, well, she, she must be younger then, right? Oh, she will match you. My daughter won't match me anymore. That's not cool once you're 14. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, oh, six. Oh, wait, that was your, oh, one more. Oh, my goodness. Okay, one more. And she plays volleyball, you said, right? Yes. Okay, so those seven, but that's still not it, you guys. Then she can still get these three at half off. Look at all those. I know. You're going to have the most gorgeous nails on your block. Then, if any of you ladies um, host a nail bar, when she goes to your nail bar, which of course she will because she loves Color Street, she can get that at one of your parties, that at one of your parties. Oh, and if three of you have a party, she could get that. Look at that. Look at that stack of nails. You could, you're going to have the most beautiful nails for weeks and weeks. And think of all the money. When your husband looks at that, you say, think of all the money I saved because I'm not in the salon. Right? $40, another $40. Right. <laughs> I mean, I think that's a shopping spree, yes, right? Yes. So that, it's a, we have such a, such a rich hostess program um, that you're going to be all set with all your nails tonight. So thank you again. And I don't get to put your set on you, but you know, I'll send it with you. And well, obviously you. you know how to put it on. So I'm going to put them right back in this pretty basket because they're so pretty on display. And then you ladies will be able to come up in a little while and see these. Because you know I don't let you see them until after because I want it all to be a surprise. <laughs> okay, you're welcome. All right, so as I mentioned, I have a 14-year-old daughter. Um, I love my kids dearly. And my kids used to love to play games with me. We had game night all the time. And guess what? They're 14 and 16 now, and I'm lucky if I see them anymore. They're in their bedrooms, and they won't play games with me. So one of the cool things about Color Street, guess what? I get to play games with all of you, <laughs> which I'm so excited. Since they don't play games with me anymore, you guys get to play games with me. So I have a game of chance here. I have 11 envelopes in my hand. This is the dice game. I have two dice. All right, what you do is you roll the dice. When you roll, there is 11 envelopes that have coordinating numbers. So if you roll a two, you get the envelope with two. If you roll four, you get the envelope with four. In these envelopes, there is one grand prize, which is two sets of our beautiful new spring nails. And have you guys tried this kind of nail polish remover? It's not that nasty sponge that would get all gross. It's like little plastic fingers, and you stick your finger in there. It's awesome. Um, it's great. Look at it. Oh, no. It's like plastic little fingers. So nice. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's quite lovely. Okay, so that would be our grand prize winner. I have four little prizes people could win, and then I have six people who could win a nail bar. So really, no matter what you roll, you're a winner. You're either going to go home with this grand prize, go home with a uh, um, little prize, or go home with a nail bar in order to have friends over. 
who doesn't want to have friends over, right? Just like you guys are having fun tonight, you can have that at your own house. So, um, the rules of the game. You, when, you can choose to play or choose to pass. If you play and you roll your number, whatever you get in the envelope. So if you get the grand prize, you have to take the grand prize, right? If you get the four small prizes, you have to take the small, four, you have to take the small prize. If you roll book a party, you book a party. You have to book a party and not have to. Of course, it's a privilege, really, right? <laughs> It'll be a very fun night out. So um, I'm going to come around, and you can take the dice, and you can pick an envelope. Don't open the envelope till everybody has received one. If you roll a number someone else has, we'll just re-roll, because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you could duplicate a number in there. OK? You want to play? All right. Let's see. Woo, 10. There you go. OK, you're going to play? Absolutely. All right. Love game players. All right, a three. There you go. You're going to play? All right, Libby. Come on. A six. Everyone's even rolling different numbers. This is so exciting. All right, Mary. You guys, I just knew you guys would be a party group. I could tell when, I, when we were off mingling, I knew you guys would be a great party game. I know, I wanted to roll for you. Are you going to play, Jackie? Okay. Okay. Eight. Oh, my. Oh, oh no, no eight. Wow. No double numbers yet. Must mean good luck. All right. All right. See how we just, like, yes, yes, yes. Okay, roll again, because our three is already taken. So let's, oh, three again. Ten. Nope. <laughs> it's going to get harder for you people now. Seven? Uh, nope. Uh, <laughs> Six. Nope. <laughs> she should have No. She should as a hostess be able to steal, right? Yeah. Now that game could go on forever, right? If you could steal. Oh, my word. Yeah. All right, you got a two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you gonna play? Sure. All right. A twelve. Yay! Good job. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna play? Okay, great. All right, a nine. Good job. <laughs> You gonna play? No. Okay. Thanks. All right. No problem at all. All right. Let's see. Okay. Now, before you open, I have one last game of chance. You may choose what's in your envelope. Keep what's in your envelope. Or, if you choose to book a nail bar within the next 30 days, you can trade in your envelope and automatically get the grand prize when I go to your nail bar in th within the next 30 days. So, do you want to keep or do you want to? Do you want to I'll go up for the guarantee? Okay. <laughs> keep for a guarantee I'll grand prize. I'll book a nail bar. Okay, in the next 30 days. Woo! <laughs> Look at you. All right, we'll talk. I got my calendar here. I have okay. some opening, um, some openings in the next few weeks. Perfect. All right. Um, I'm gonna keep mine. Okay. I'll keep it. All right. <gasps> the I'll pressure. Like you wanna, <laughs> yeah. Okay? Yeah. You guys like the game of chance. You wanna risk it. All right. All right. Okay. All right, ladies, you may open your envelopes and see what you have. This is the best part. It's so fun to see. It's kind of like Christmas morning. Oh, man. <laughs> you got the grand prize? Woo! How does the hostess get the grand prize? <laughs> so now she has another two sets of nails. All right, and what did you get, Jackie? These are so cute. <gasps> Book a nail bar. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Woo! All right, we'll talk at checkout. I will we'll get a date set up. Book a nail bar. <gasps> Woo oh my gosh, we're gonna have so much fun now. Are you two friends? Wait. Oh yeah. Are you gonna go to each other's? Of course. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Yay! This will be so much fun. Oh, you get a small prize. 
Oh, poor Libby. <laughs> I know. If you feel, I can, I have a lot of dates on my calendar that we could find a nail bar for you too, and you would get a small oh, prize. I wouldn't okay. want you to feel left out from that. <laughs> All right, and you get the grand prize. We will book yours. Oh my gosh, Another this is awesome. Bar. I have so many nail bars. <laughs> okay, you ladies are winners today. Okay, another small prize. There you go. And, oh my gosh, this is awesome. So many good winners. All right, you guys. Um, so really, again, everybody wins in this. You guys, in today's crazy world with everybody so busy, it is hard to get friends together. This is a great reason for you to have your friends together. And once again, look at all this great stuff that everyone's going to have. So you'll have the opportunity to, to um, get that to it, your nail bar. So now we're going to talk about, um, well, actually, before I go to the nitty gritty, let me tell you a little bit about me. I told you I have some teenagers, and they don't play games with me anymore, right? Um, so that leads me to here's my bag. a little bit about me and why I joined Color Street. Um, as I told you guys earlier, Color Street opened last June, and um, you know I joined for a few different reasons. Um, one is I used to be a teacher, and then I became a stay-at-home mom with my kids, and I've worked part-time here and there, but um, you know I wasn't making much of an income. And I have a 14-year-old daughter who dances. I don't know if any of you have dancers, but if any of you have competitive dancers, she dances or she competes with nine dances and five competitions a year and it's an astronomical bill and i've paid that off for this year with my color street money which is awesome um i have a son he doesn't look like this <laughs> i swear but he's a junior in high school so he will be going to college and so my goal is to be putting money away to help the college payments um, our family loves to travel, and um, I, I want to be able to help or pay for trips with that. I was already able to with my Color Street money. In December, I took our family out west skiing for the first time um, for a five-day trip to Utah. So um, that was really exciting that I was able to use my money to do that. And then finally, with my kids getting older, um, you know, I was trying to identify who I am. I I used to be the Girl Scout leader, the Sunday school teacher, the substitute teacher, you know, you name it, I pretty much did that role. I was, did a bunch of stuff in their school and I don't do any of that anymore with middle school and high school. So I was trying to figure out who I am and so my last thing is just kind of a mirror because it, it really is identifying me figuring out what I'm going to do now that my kids are older and they'll be off in college and now I found a new path for myself. So that's really, those are the reasons that drew me to Color Street. Not just the money, but um, you know, it's, it's been a great, great journey for me personally and getting me back out around, around a bunch of women and it's been exciting. I've met a lot of new people. So I would love to talk to any of you if, at, um, at any time. If you want to know more about the business, please, you know, come and ask me questions. I'll, I'm, you know, I'll tell you everything about it. I'm an open book about it. So I would love to share my business um, it with you if it's something you're interested in. All right, so now the nitty gritty of what we do with Color Street. Okay, I will be coming around with, I have um, a catalog in order form, a choosy and a nail prep for everybody. So I'm gonna come around and hand you that and a pen. So we'll go through the catalog um, we'll look through a couple things in the catalog, and I'll point it out. I'll tell you guys how to do the ordering, and then um, I'll let, you, and then I'll come around and help you guys do samples. So if you could just hold off on your samples for a minute. I know once I pass the catalogs out, it's like a free for all because you guys all get just as excited as I do. So just bear with me a few more minutes of listening, and then you're on your own. You guys have been really good. Sometimes I get groups that just chat and chat and chat, and I lose them. So I do. I do, um, I do, I mean, um, Julie, I do totally appreciate how well you guys have, have listened to me today. It's kind of like when I substitute taught. Some, some classes would listen to me and some didn't. Um, okay, so, um, the catalog. I want to borrow yours. Okay. Okay, so this is a brand new spring catalog. It just came out a few weeks ago, and it's gorgeous. Um, this is already our third catalog. Launching in June, we've had three catalogs. We've had different nails come out for holidays. It's amazing to me 
how fast we're producing new styles. Um, in the catalog you have your solids. Um, we have glitters, you know what I love about the glitter page? Um, this lady down here, her name is Jackie McGowan. She is on our team and um, she was the number one salesperson in the whole entire company of Color Street last year, which is so cool to be able to say. So she lives right here in Michigan. So you kind of have a celebrity in Color Street living among you in Michigan. So if you ever run into her, make sure you tell her I, Debbie said hi. Debbie, I used to say the same thing about you. <laughs> okay, then we move into our glitter designs. So we have, um, these are glitters, but they have mul you know, multiple colors or patterns in them. Mm -hmm. And then we have what we call our nail art, which is non-glitters, but some different pictures and stuff. So the pricing, it shows you at the top the pricing. The solids are 11, glitters are 12, glitter designs and nail designs are 13. Those are all buy three, get one today. So that you really can't beat that price. It brings it down to like an average of like $10 to do a manicure. And then our Frenches are in the last page. And those, that's kind of a two-step process. So if, if someone thinks they're gonna be interested in French, let me know and I can trade your twosie out, because that is a twosie I think we should practice with, because it's a little bit different than putting these on. So if that is um, a style you know you're gonna stick with, I'd, I'd like you to try one of those today. Mm -hmm. um, and the French are buy one, get one free. Seriously, $7 for a French manicure. It's not gonna get any better than that. And the back side, it tells a little bit about Mr. Park I told you about. Um, an application, it does show in here using a nail file. I personally don't use a nail file. I'm not very good at it and I find when I use the nail file, I tend to break the end of the polish and I chip it. So that's why I use the thumb and most people I know use the thumb. Um, if you do choose to use a nail file, the trick is pushing it to the middle and making sure you only go one direction with that nail file. So if you think that's a method you're gonna do, when you put your sample on, we'll talk about that and I'll give you a nail file to use. Um, so you could try both ways. You could even try with your thumb with one of your samples and then with a nail file if you think you want to try the difference. Um, here's host benefits. So for all of you ladies who won your nail bar, um, you can look and see what, um, what you would be getting for hosting the nail bar. And then over here, of course, is our kit. So um, you love this stuff enough, you may want to come and do what I do. It's an easy job and it's very fun. I get to meet lots of cool people just like you guys. So, all right, after you've gone um, through the catalog, there's an order form. You don't have to write the numbers on this order form, just write the name down. What I want you to do is I want you to write down everything you love in the catalog. Doesn't mean you're gonna buy it today, but write down everything you love, because I'm gonna take this with me, and that way you can put stars by the ones that, you wanna, that you're gonna purchase today. If I know these are gonna be discontinued, or I know maybe a holiday's coming up, you can even leave your husband's name and phone number on here. I could text him if Mother's Day is coming up. I, I have no problem texting husbands. I do it a lot. Some lucky lady just, not only did he order her $150 in nails, then they won my, my I had a little special there, and he won my um, hostess special and got like, I don't even remember, 50 more bucks for her free. So, so I have no problem messaging your husband. So if you want to leave that information for me, but definitely mark ones that you may want later and so I could follow up with you just in case. You know, I can check back in and see if um, you know, you're ready to get those. So just write down the names and then we'll start the, the ones you want. I like to check everybody out individually because that gives me a little bit of time with you. I'll make sure sometimes we're out of stock. I can make sure that none of the ones you want right now are out of stock if we need to trade any out with different styles. So when you're done, I'm gonna be over at this table over here. So um, you know, after you, we've done sampling and everything, you filled your order form out, just meet me over there and we'll go through it and um, make sure you're getting everything you want to get for today. And then people who won the nail bars, we can also get those um, scheduled on our calendars as well. All right, so everyone has their twosies. Um, again, what you're gonna do, if you wanna go in the bathroom and wash your hands, that's great. And then you can um, use, or you can just use the nail prep. You know, if you know you just put lotion on before the party, you may wanna go wash your hands. Otherwise, you can use the nail prep and if you, I, I will come around and help everybody put one on, but I really want you to put the other one on yourself. I want you to see what it feels like. If I do both of them, and then you order nails, and you're gonna kind of be back at square one. So I don't mind putting both on, or you want, or I mean one on, and you put one on, or you may put um, both on yourself, okay? So um, let's see, who thinks they're gonna put it on themselves? Okay, <laughs> who wants me to come and, it's, it's not a big deal either way. I don't, 
I just want to know, some people want help, some people don't. Some people get it out and they realize it's harder to do than they think, and so then they call me over, and that's fine. How, but I want to start with the people who definitely know they want me to. So I'll start over here. They kind of gave me the head nod and the, the look like, oh, well, can you come help us? So I'll start with you guys, and we'll put your samples on. Ladies, you guys can put your samples on. You could, um, and then if you have any questions, I'm going to work my way around. I'm going to make sure I check in with all of you as you're putting them on to make sure you're getting them on correctly. And then I will see everybody as I come around to you. All right? All right. <laughs> that was the quietest now. Put it in, but most people don't. They just say, you know, make sure you get rid of it. So some of you I know probably check out on your phones. I personally don't like people checking out themselves. I want them to come over to me. So whether it's me and putting it, I just want that final touch. And again, this is me. It's for me to go over. Again, we want to stop at the start at the top of the mountain. You want to start it. Do you want to do this business? Then you do you want to host an bar? Then what are you going to buy? We already know they're going to buy, right? Um, so, so I just like that one-on-one. -on -one. And I'm not saying it works every time. Trust me, I've met plenty of nail bars where these women are throwing their orders at me and they're out the door. So it doesn't always work that I get to check out with everybody, but my goal, I say it and I hope to get as many as I can that have the time that can come and sit with me real quick. I can talk to them about the business. All my people who won their nail bar can get their nail bar, okay? All right, so now I wanna kinda go back through and talk about some of the different things that I did and why I did some of the things. Okay, so first I introduced myself, right? Um, do you guys have questions before I go? Or do you want me to explain first and then do questions? Oh, I just have a question. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, how successful is the dice game? Meaning, like, I was just saying to one of the gals here, I was like, I would be so scared that no one would want to play. And if they don't, they don't. Have you had that happen? No, before? because I haven't done it yet. Okay. I, I am not. Okay, this it's it's out of my comfort zone as well, and it has been. But I'm hearing more and more stories of this truly works, and so I'm doing it. And so. Practicing with you guys today was my first practice, and I am doing it at my next nail bar. Um, I have not heard bad stories from it, and I do think we need to start putting it in our nail bars. Will it be able to, I did a nail bar last week at a, at a, um, like a home for special needs people. Am I gonna pull it out there? No, you know, so every place is gonna be different. I, you know, that was not the time and the place to be playing the game. But when it's appropriate, I am gonna be playing this game. So good question. Along those same lines, do you feel that, um, and I think we've brought this up before, but do you feel like if a lot of people are hosting a nail bar, they're going to wait to order until they get to their nail bar and not order in this folks' party? Well, you know, I mean, again, these are her friends. We've all been to parties before where you want to support your friend. Right. And so... Could you repeat the question? Yeah. She said, do you think you're going to, if all these people got book a nail bar, are they not going to order from their friend? Oh. Yeah. So, um, so, you know, oh, you know what I forgot to, well, you know what I was going to do too when I host a stat? I was going to bring up gifts because that is a key too. If you could bring up gifts for, for that person who says, oh, I'm just going to, you know, book a, um, well, I'm going to wait till I have my own nail bar. Then you can bring up, oh, I could understand why you'd want to wait to get some free ones for yourself. Do you need any gifts right now? You know, I did bring up Mother's Day at the, at the thing, but usually I emphasize what holidays or what things are coming up. You know, we have teacher appreciation coming up. We have Mother's Day, we have Easter baskets. So um, point some of those things out. You know, most friends are gonna help that friend get her sales up. So you hope that that's where it's gonna go. Sharon. For the question about like the dice game, if you think that people are gonna be, I don't wanna play, I don't wanna play. You could maybe talk to your hostess ahead of time and mm -hmm. say, hey, you know, of all these people, we're going to do a game. Who do you think will play and start with those people? Because I think there's a little bit of peer pressure. Like, right. if yeah. you know people are going to play, then you don't want to be the first person to say no. But if your first three people say no, then chances are someone who's on the fence is going to be like, oh, no, I don't want to play either. Right. You know, yeah. but maybe talk to your hostess before and be like, okay, I'm going to do a game. Helpful. She knows. It helps her out. Yeah. You know, yeah. Who, That's who, a really good idea. Yeah, good tip. Go to them first. And did you notice when I was handing her the dice, everyone I handed, I went like this, are you gonna play? Yeah. Yeah. So you wanna play? I didn't say yes or no, I said, so are you gonna play? And I nodded. That was my subliminal, uh-huh, okay. So, so let's, oh yeah, go ahead. Um, so how many like book and nail bars would you put in that? Okay, good question. So 
You have one grand prize, that's in number two. Snake Eyes is the um, least rolled number of all numbers. So put your grand opening in number two. You have four small small gifts, and then you have six nail bars. Six. Six. Really? But odds of, of 11 or 12 people playing. And then what if your, ho if your hostess gets the book of nail bar? Do you just like excuse them? Like <laughs> She may want another one when the new catalog comes out. So, you know, you could talk to her at the time. And will all these people book it? Maybe not. Right, right. But the goal would be if I got, how many people got it? Four? If I got four and two held, I got two nail bars that I wouldn't have had maybe without that. And then what about how you said at the beginning, does anybody just want to book the nail bar right away and get the grand prize? Uh -huh. So they get the grand prize when they book, oh, like no, when you when go. they have it. That's I'm, I'm not going yeah, yeah, so to give them so two when sets you come of nails. to the nail bar that they have, you'll yeah. bring their grand prize. The yeah, and you don't have, have to have that as your grand prize, but you want it worthwhile right. enough. So you would have to decide what value you want to put on it, um, you know, to, to make it a big deal. Right, okay. Two questions. So is she getting the grand prize of the two and the nail polish remover? And when she booked the party, I know I give a free set. Right? So kind of said she's getting three. Yeah, right? but did you notice in the new catalog? We noticed this the other day at the leader meeting. It does not say free um, you, gift anymore. Okay. Oh, it's 15%. So, you know, moving forward, maybe that would be your, your gift then. That if you're doing a dice game, Maybe you're not going to point out that hostess gift anymore of the free set of nails. And then Maybe the set you're going to put on. Jackie does a great thing on, that I've copied where you, you put your nails on before you go to the nail bar and you have the other half. Maybe that other half is going on a guest and that's the set you're putting on for demonstration. Um, and you're not doing that booking gift anymore because it doesn't say it in our catalog. And the other one, on the small gift. Are you giving like two of these or what do you do? I have just like, <clears throat> I have this little thing from the dollar store. It's like a little sparkly nail file set in like three twosies. That's why I emphasized at the beginning, you can't buy the twosies, so they feel like they're special. But you can use them as accent nails. I think I have, I have four in there. So I have a nail file set. Two of them have a nail file set and four twosies. And one I did like the big nail file, which I don't think you can get these anymore but I've got a drawer full. Oh, we can? I don't know, they weren't business displays because I went to go look I up the value them. of it today. You can't find them in the case anywhere. I've tried to Amazon. Really? Yeah. Wow. So these I are hot. Really I really hate that. Yeah, they were not. Like, yeah, they're not in the business yeah, supply order right now. And then I have four, four in there too. I love those files. <laughs> um, it is 8.30. It's 8.30? Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> All right, so let me move fast and, and point out things. I introduced myself, I thank the hostess. If you notice, I thank the hostess, as I said, for a night out. We want them to get in their heads. Like, it's fun to go have a night out with your friends. So you're planting that seed already for booking a party by saying a fun night out with your friends. Okay, then I moved into telling about Color Street. I used to give like the whole history of Color Street. You know what? When I go to a 31 party, they don't tell me how 31 bags were made. So I kind of cut back on how much I'm talking about the history of, that's where you kind of start to lose them. So I'm just explaining the nails at that point. I'm explaining um, how to put them on. I'm getting them excited. I'm building trust in me and my rapport so that when they play the game, they've, they feel like they've gotten to know me. That's why I put a sample on one person right there because I want them to see the ease of the nail. I, I want them to see the stuff before they play the game so they're more apt to um, book that party. After I've gone through and told them about it, I then do hostess stacking. You guys have got to do that hostess stacking if you're not. You've got to be showing them what the hostess is going to get. They're visual. They want to see what, what she's going to get. She's going to get all this. That's a ton of nails, especially when they're going to walk out with probably buy three, get one free, and they're getting four. Look how many she has. Um, so you want to stack the hostess. And as I stack her, notice I was pointing out different things she needs them for. That's getting in their heads thinking, you know, oh gosh, I have this coming up. Oh yeah, I have that coming up. When you're going around putting samples on them, you can talk about those types of things. What do you have coming up? These nails would be great for this or for that. Um, so make sure you're pointing out, make sure you're pointing out, like I said, gifts, that it can be great gifts. Um, then when we go to, so then I went to, um, is it the, oh, and you guys, I do literally, you want this card 
even if you're not using it, even if you know what you're gonna say, you want a card because you wanna look duplicatable. You want that girl to, who's sitting there going, oh, I just don't know if I could do this. You want her to see that, guess what? You're reading part of this from a card. You have to refer to this. So it's not a bad thing. Have a card. Even like I said, even if you pretend to look down at it, pretend, but you want that card to show that anybody can be up there doing this. A lot of people are scared to get in front of people and this is a kind of a way of telling them that it's all right, that you can get up and you can have something in front of you. Um, oh, notice I did not say when it came time for the game, a game of gambling. Do not bring up gamble. You wanna say chance. They're against gambling, you're done, you lost them, okay? So I, I'm saying chance. Um, okay, so I told you the envelopes, you know, what goes in each envelope. Um, as I'm going around, you saw that I nodded to each person. When I said, when I said the whole book and nail bar thing, when I said um, the rules are you have to win the, take the grand prize, you have to take the small prize, you have to, I let them answer, did you notice that? I let them say, book a nail bar. So they all, it just became what they said. Instead of me telling them that, they said it, all right? Um, let me see, then I did, oh, then I tell about me, tell your why. That is enough, they're planting a seed of why they wanna do the business. They might have been able to relate to any of those reasons that I just told them. So give your why. Um, then after the why, of course, then it's, of course, you gotta go through the ordering process and tell them what to do there. Um, let me see if that's all the things I was thinking I wanted to share. Um, yeah, I think that's, I think that's all the things I necessarily wanted to point out. Do you guys have more questions about it? Yeah. Can you tell us where we can get those glitter eyes? They're super cute. Oh, I got them at the dollar store today. Were they with a the glitter? Yeah, it was a pack for a buck. I'm very simple at a nail bar, you guys. I wouldn't even bring a tablecloth like this, you know that. I mean, this is, I have my gifts, and I know this is not current because it doesn't have the current kit, um, but I didn't print a new one yet. So I always have a host a party, the pricing, and a join my team. I set out nail prep pads and your um, nail polish in case they need it, and I bring you know, a pack of each of those. I have my bag with my pens, lead slips just in case. Um, I do not leave the nails out. I do not give them catalogs till I'm ready to talk. You lose them. If I gave my catalogs out at the beginning, as you guys know, they're gone. They start putting on samples at the beginning, they're gone. That's why when I was building my relationship with them, I put it on one person for them to see. I talked through how you put it on, but I did not pass them out or I'd lose them. So I don't have everything sitting there because I, I've learned you, they, you have it sitting there, they walk in, you never get their attention again because they've already looked at the nails, they've already looked at all the samples, they've been playing around with it. And I know we've talked about this, never leave your samples out because they will do their whole hand in it. And you will have gone through six samples on one person because they've done every single finger. I, has anyone been there? I know a lot of you probably yeah. have. Don't leave them out. Um, so, Literally, when they walk in, I mean, this wouldn't even be there. Like, that's what's there. And then when I go to talk, notice I have this stuff over in a corner that I had, I would keep it in a bag next to me until I'm ready to talk, and then I get it out. I don't want it out for them to be able to get to before I talk. Okay? Anything else? Just real quick, where did you get those plastic holders? Like, to hold the... Really, they have those ones at the dollar store? Mm -hmm. I bought these from somebody else. Somebody that was um, Meyer. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So I can't say where I got those. So, okay. Any other questions? Yeah. How do you know when they order something that's out of stock? What do you tell them? Well, I try to go in with the out of stock list. Okay. Um, but that doesn't always work. That's why, notice I said put everything on your list. That way, if something is, I can go to a backup. Um, and that way, again, by having them write down everything they want, that's a good reason for you to have follow-up with them. So when you close out with them and you say, okay, can I call you in a couple days? You know, you remember, you wanna do two, two, and two. Two days, two weeks, two months. Two days later, I'm gonna say thank, thank up for the party. Two weeks later, I'm gonna call, see if they got their product. Um, and then, I, I'm, not gonna off, I'm not gonna bring up those next nails yet. 
but two months later I might, or if I know they're going out of stock, I might. Um, I might just, sometimes I just pick a day to randomly call customers and I, I can pull those back out and then I can say, hey, I know you were looking at these, you, you know, it's been a, a, you know, if you know they ordered four and here we are eight weeks later, they've probably gone through them. Have you gone through your nails? Are you ready? Did you still want to look at um, some of these other nails you were interested in? So try to get them to write down as many as they want. And you can use that for, I mean, mainly I started doing it because of the out of stocks, but I learned, I kept on adding more to it because it got smarter. Mm -hmm. I got smarter with it and using it for future calls. So if there, you don't want to just substitute, if you happen to get home, you go to put that order in and it's gone or whatever, I would call them and say, hey, this one's gone. Can we substitute it for this one that you wanted at the same price? So have them write multiple down. Yeah. I have one more question. Yeah. I just got my kid done. No, that's Do okay. You carry, um, so like you have stock, so if it's out of stock, then you have your... Well, I do have stock, but I don't have, I've been here a long time. I've earned a lot of jump starts. I did a lot of vending events. So yes, I do have stock. Okay. Um, but I wouldn't expect you guys to have stock. But you bring it to your parties. No, I do not bring stock to parties. But I know some people do, I personally don't. It depends. If it's, like I've gone where I know I'm selling like at a business, so it's kind of a vending event, although it was a hostess party. And so what I did there is I sold, if, if their order had something out of, the whole order was out of stock, I would give them my stuff. But if it was in stock, then I made, I placed the order. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We've really got to get to this too, because I know this is a huge problem with creating a booking. We don't do lead slips. Do you do lead slips? Yeah. You do. Okay. At a nail bar? Well, at a nail bar, I'm getting it all on the order form. It's at the. It's at the top. It'll so, say like. Right. 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 Yeah. So, at my nail bar, I'm collecting this. I know everyone doesn't use paper order forms. See, I do. I. I don't. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I get all their information yeah. there, and that's another reason I like to close out with them because sometimes they don't put their phone number, or their email, and I want that information. Yeah. I want to ask them if I can add them to my VIP page, so I want that. My lead slip I would have, like for that person who says, "Oh no, no, it's rare," but every once in a while you get the person, "Oh, I don't want to. No, I'm in a rush. I don't want to order thing. Oh, well, why don't you just fill out your name real quick so I can contact you later?" So I just always keep these with me. Okay. All right.